Hi, welcome back to Arise Works. And in the second part of the workshop on getting started with Mantra, I'll just show you how to how to you know get your first render because you will need camera, you will need light, you will need geometry, and you will need an output for your render. In our case, it will be Mantra Raw. So I'm just gonna show you how to set up all that so you can hit that render button. So let's let's discuss what do we need actually to create our first render so for our first render to succeed first of all we have to have geometry in our case that will be a create a box and a sphere then we have to have a camera and we have to have a mantra rop or wrap in the out section so we can use the render preview if we go to render view tab and press render as you will see render will actually succeed without lights and without the camera and without the wrap why because whenever we go into the render view it just assumes that we just want to preview how it how everything will look so in our case as you can see we have a light that projects from the camera and the camera is looking the same way the viewport is looking at our geometry so for now, I will try to just walk you through how it would be done if we want to actually render anything out and save it to the disk without it being a preview. Because if I now press the render to M play, as you can see here, the render succeeds. But here, if I press render to M play, it says, as you will see, unable to initialize rendering mod module with given camera because we don't have a camera. And in the render view, you say that the camera is ROP camera scene view. So basically it just assumes that the camera is the same as our view, but actually we don't have a camera. If that sounds a bit confusing, just bear with me. So we go to the objects and I control click on this icon on the camera and it will create a camera as you can see, and there is a letterboxing going on. And in the camera we can just say uh, what's the focal length, what's the, what is the resolution, and keep in mind in the apprentice, the non-commercial version, the resolution maximum is these numbers, so it's uh, just HD. Anyway, so I'm just going to tweak a focal length a bit, and if you know, if you don't know, I'll just tell you that if you press the lock camera, whenever you navigate uh, the viewport, the camera will follow. So it will be an easier way to set up your uh, camera view, okay? So of course, if I deselect it and now start moving around, you can see that this camera can be, of course, moved using the, the transform handles. It will change how it looks. So if I go to camera again and th look through it, you can see it's uh, a bit different. And again, it's rather useful to set up it using the uh, this key uh, lock button and don't forget to unlock it otherwise your camera will move around so if we go now to render view and select camera one and press render again uh, you will see in a second that indeed it will look just as camera one let's see there you go but we still have a it's not a problem, it's just you can see that our lighting is a bit flat because we don't have any lights. So let's just add a light. For now, I'll just add the area light. And don't worry, I'll talk about the lights um, later on and we will explain what lights do and how they are you know, working, different types of lights. But for now, I will just wanted to show you that I'm adding the area light just to have these soft shadows. And indeed, I will go to area size, uh, select the area light in our object menu, um, make the area size a bit more so it's a, even a bit more soft and the softness of the light is more pronounced. So if we preview it right now, let's see what we got. All right, takes a little bit of time. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, now we see that we have uh, some sort of soft light going on. It's looking much better already. 
So I'll just tweak exposure a bit. By the way, you can tweak the intensity or exposure, it depends on your personal preference. It's virtually the same. All right. Now, if you're not exactly enjoying this uh, progressive improvement over time, you can always uh, disable the preview and it will render kind of like the final version of our, um, of our render. Uh, but for preview purposes, this looks just fine. Uh, by the way, if you hold down your left mouse button on some area, it will progressively improve the quality of this area faster than in other areas. Okay? As a final thing that I mentioned, you have to have the wrap uh, camera in the output. So for us, the render view the render preview created the mantra IPR, as you can see. You can do and create your own mantra IPR, uh, but just, um, just by going to right click in the menu and pressing the mantra, it will create another uh, rendering output. So basically they are the same. You can tweak different settings here and I will stop and explain the render settings here, all these hundreds of tabs that can be a bit confusing at first, but just so you know that to create your first render, you have to have the camera that we have right here. Whoops, right here. Uh, you better have the lights, otherwise it will look just weird. Uh, geometry that you will render, otherwise there will be basically nothing to render at all. And of course, you need something to render with, as in the mantra output. So now, if we use the camera one and render to M play, and I press this button, it does not give us any sort of mis um, error message. And we can see the M play render, uh, render window. And um, there you go. Here is our very first render. So play with these, uh, play with creating cameras, navigating the viewport uh, through the eye of the camera. By the way, you can also navigate through the eye of the light, as you can see. And again, if you hold down, uh, if you press the uh, lock button, you can also, as, you, as we have done with the camera, you can navigate and align your, uh, your lights through your viewport view. This may be very useful. I mean, depends on your personal preference, of course. Okay, let's check our render and the render is finished. And of course you can right click, say frame, um, say PNG, JPEG or EXR and save it. And there you go. This will be your first render. So with that out of the way, um, let's just discuss I think in, in uh, next videos, we will discuss lights, um, camera settings, render settings, and everything else in more detail. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you liked what you have seen, click the like button if you don't want to miss other videos in this series and many other videos that we have in the making, just click the subscribe button and or press the notification to get notified about new videos. Let me know what you think about the videos in the comments below. I'll try to read all of them and respond if needed. And again, that was the Rise Voix. Thanks for watching and see you later. Have a nice day.